happening this morning. Morning, the jury is set for uh, the dentist in Aurora. They're accused of poisoning his wife to death early last year. Yeah, you might remember this mm -hmm. case. Courtney Fromm joins us live outside the Arapahoe County Courthouse with more on what's next. Courtney. Yeah, good morning to you both. This is a story that's made national news. It's kind of a crazy thing. It almost seems like it's out of a movie in a sense. But I was actually in the courtroom when James Craig, that's the doctor, the dentist, I should say, involved in all of this. And that's when the, he learned from the Rappo County Coroner's Office that his wife, Angela, died from poisoning. That's what the coroner said in the courtroom. And of course, we're back here this morning. Now, according to the coroner, there are multiple poisons found in Angela's body, but the coroner says one was cyanide and then one was another type of poison. It's a drug found in Visine, which causes blood vessels to narrow that ultimately killed her. Now, we learned Angela went to a local hospital multiple times before passing away on March 18th in 2023. Now, Dr. Craig's team, though, they pleaded in the courtroom just earlier this past year that the dentist loved his wife and had no reason to kill her. But Angela's family, they want justice. I, I don't know. How can you, you know, we talk about that a lot and people will say, um, how can somebody do that? I can't tell you how somebody can do that. I wouldn't murder anybody, so I don't know how somebody can do that. If he goes to jail, he goes to jail. If he doesn't, he doesn't. The thing I'm more concerned about is uh, my sister and her kids and our family and our future. Luckily, one of the beliefs in our, our religion is that families are eternal, so we'll see her again. Now again, everything to start here around 8.30, so just about an hour and a half. And of course, we'll be live all morning no, long, I should say. Live in Arapahoe County, Courtney from Fox 31. Yeah, something we'll continue to follow. Thank you, Courtney.